Okay, so we have our template hello world. We go into that link and we copy paste most of the code. So we want the code to actually create the file and write that file until we close the handle. So we're going to move that into a function called write data to file. We want to use the display error function as well. The display error, there is a typo actually in their code. It's missing the ending brackets. So the right data to file will have as an argument, the file name. the data buffer and the length. So in the sample, RV1 is the file name. And replace RV1 with file name. We don't need to test our V. And we want to pass the data and the data is right length as an argument. So we're going to call that function. So now we have our data we want to write, the size, and we're calling write data to file, which is going to call create file, write file, and then close the handle. So if we build that project, so we see it's missing one function used by display error. So if we go back to the, the actual sample, we see that we're missing probably includes. Okay, so we successfully build it. So now if we go to the target VM, and run our hello. We see that it wrote a text file on, on the actual desktop. If we rerun it, we see it's failing because the file already exists. So we need to delete the file to rerun the, the actual sample. So now let's debug our hello world writing a file on this. We're going to first start Kidra. And we're going to load our DLLs and executable we want to analyze. Here we just want to see the actual write file happening both in user and canon. We're not actually loading hello.exe. We want to make sure the rating plugin is started with alt s. That is listening. Now let's start WinDBG. Remember, we have our bad script actually invoking the CMD, dbg preps, the CMD. 
and this dbg prep will actually automatically synchronize with Ghidra. We don't need that breakpoint at the moment, so we're just going to disable it for now. So as you can see, it's connected to the target VM. We're going to break. So it actually execute the command from the CMD. And now we see that it actually synchronized with uh, Ghidra. Okay, so we've built our binary. Now if we run it from target VM, we'll see it's hanging. actually got it wrong. We need to hit a key to continue to print it before get character. So now we have push our binary. It's telling us the binary is executed and it's telling us to hit a key to continue. We run our binary. So now from uh, WinDBG, we can break and we can find our actually hello world process. So we get the results, which is a K process. So the next step is to actually change the context to the actual process we're interested in. Then we need to hit go to, to switch to the actual context. Now we can use the process bank command to see the information for the process. We see it has only one thread and it's the actually header word executable we're interested in. So the next step is to reload the symbols for all the loaded modules. So now all the modules have been reloaded, so we can now set a breakpoint onto the kernel 32 write file function and then continue execution. We go to our VM. We see that it's actually black now because probably a breakpoint hit. And we can see a breakpoint already hit. But it's not actually from header word, so we can continue execution. If that happens again too much, you can just disable the breakpoints. So we're just going to temporarily disable the breakpoint just to get access to our target VM again. And now we should be able to set the, the breakpoint again. So let's re-enable our breakpoints. Now we see we hit the breakpoint. And as you can see, we are in the Hello World Lab context. So if we reload the symbols. So now let's check the backtrace. So we don't manage to get a better backtrace, but I guess it's because Hello World is not actually loaded into WinDBG. We don't have the symbols at the start. The whole point is to see that it's actually calling kernel 32 write file. So the next step is to actually set a breakpoint on the kernel syscall. We can actually can disable the first breakpoint. And now if we continue execution, we should hit the syscall. When we do that, we can see first that in Ghidra, we are at the moment actually connected. So if we do and we step over, you can see we're going into the, the function. And so if we set a breakpoint later in the function, 
without S3 and continue execution. I'm going to hit the breakpoints. We see we're on the test RSI for overlap. So we're going to disable that breakpoints. And we're going to continue execution. As you can see, we hit the syscall in kernel. So here we are back to NTOS kernel. Um, we do type the backtrace. We can see that we went from header word to kernel based write file, then n 2 nt DLL, then going to ki system service copy n that en ends up calling the actual syscall. If we disable the breakpoint, I'll just step over. We'll be able to step over in Ghidra as well. And we can analyze the actual function. For instance, we can do out S3 here in Ghidra, and it's going to set a breakpoint automatically in WinDBG. We can continue execution and just see it hits the actual code. Okay, I think we managed to reach our goal here. I hope you had fun. And let's use that to debug interesting stuff from now on. Thank you.